first day back well we were actually back last night around like seven ish well 6 50 um because we flew business and they let us out first we were able to go through the you know immigration really quickly um and then we also got our luggage really quickly and we really did beat the traffic i think everything went smoothly we came home and i just felt so dizzy and drained but we still went out for hot pot because that's what the girls wanted um woke up around 2 18 a.m with like this raging headache started taking my medicine for my hep B um, virus in my gut. So I've been just, I've just been feeling like I'm walking on clouds, like I'm drunk, but I don't know. I'm getting dizzy spell left and right. Um, but yeah, now I am grabbing some food because the house is empty of food. It's dirty. The garden doesn't look well maintained, so I'm kind of upset with my sisters uh well with lily because i don't know it just the the garden should not look this trashed so yeah there's more cleaning there outdoor and indoor girls schooling start in september right after labor's day um there's so much like doctor appointment i have to go to for the girls i think i pulled something in my neck area so i'm not too happy with that um yeah, I'm going to use this next week to get as much thing as I can done work-wise as well as just clean up the house just so I can feel more peace. I'll do things slowly. I won't even touch the unpacking at this point, to be honest. Um, since I'm not used to the state hours yet, I'm going to use this time to edit video around 2 a.m. to like 6 a.m. so that you guys still have content to watch, but yeah came out of the grocery store and I don't know, she has been a lot of suspicious people walking around. It's getting more and more worrisome to be honest because everywhere I go now, I see a lot of people wearing backpack. And um, well, don't want to be judgmental, but I don't like the safest type of people either. So yeah, I'm definitely wary. Right now, I am en route to my massage appointment. I hope it worked out this crick that I have in the back of my neck. And um, yeah, started cleaning the house. Um, we'll update you very soon. I'm currently starting the eight pillars of self-care. Number one being physical. Physical self-care refers to the things you do to help you take care of your body and boost energy level. Which is why I started doing this two massage a month and my chiropractor once a month kind of thing. My physical help is also getting my nails done, my hair did, my skin taken care of. Because looking good physically also makes me feel good mentally. We'll continue in a bit. <sighs> oh my gosh, you guys. Noon, my masseuse cured me from this crick that I had in my neck. It was amazing. I feel like I can live again. I came home from the flight having the worst pain ever on my neck and shoulder area and she got rid of it. I can breathe better. That kind of feeling that um, like you're wearing a super tight bra and it makes it hard to breathe even when you're not wearing a bra. That's what I was feeling my back. I couldn't even like stretch properly and then my shoulder got tighter and then it went i had a shooting pain up my neck to where it's like to the base of my skull and like a little bit here going up this way it's gone now thank god uh. and while in vietnam i did picked up a lot of hey let's dress well even if we dress down habits so i did order a few of these like i call it activity or runner dresses for when I do start my workout routine. And another thing I am doing is actually wearing different purse every day because there are purses that sit in my closet for like over four years not being touched. And well, today I'm taking a whole bunch of purses out and I'm gonna try to switch it around and rotate them. By the way, huge shout out to Shein for sending me to one of this festival as a VIP. Um, I partner up with them and they sent me these VIP tickets to hang out at this rave event. They definitely are my long-term partner while I was growing my YouTube, so I will definitely be reconnecting with them and restarting my fashion channel, them being one of my bigger sponsors. 
Today I'm taking Kara to her oral surgery appointment. They're going to um, get her logged in and after talking to the doctor, I'll make an appointment for the actual surgery coming up. I took Kara to her doctor appointment. Well, her oral surgeon appointment. They're doing the weight and her height right now because I don't remember. We're gonna remove one of the one of the silver teeth that we put in that another doctor put in for her. And it's 301. I don't know if I'll make it in time to say goodbye to my mom because my mom is also leaving, going to the airport today. So yeah. <sighs> I'm so tired. We went so much grocery shopping today. Little house. Day one without mom. So today I am grocery shopping. I have to do a lot of restocking of the house, like milk, toilet paper, um, just food for the house, um, breakfast stuff. And then I set a goal for myself. I wanted to clean up my kitchen and just kind of ease myself into the unpacking so the kitchen is first and then I want to clean the girls room because when I unpack the girls luggage they're gonna need a lot of room for their new clothes secondly it's mental mental self-care practice help to stimulate the mind and improve brain functionality which is why I'm not jumping into unpacking I want to kind of clear my mind and prep myself before that big fiasco so I just got done with Trader Joe Originally, I feel like I was gonna do Costco up here, so I was BJ up here and Wegman, but then Wegman is a little out of the way and Costco doesn't open till like 10. Everything else is like 9.30 and it's only 8.32 and I, want, I don't want to waste an hour sitting around. So I'm just gonna go down to the BJ in Quincy. This way, um, there are other stores around the area that I can go to and just kind of check a few things off my list is emotional. Emotional self-care can help you cope and manage your feeling better when faced with challenges. I'm literally easing myself out of the vacation mode and into mom mode without all the help I was getting while I was in Vietnam. Okay, so I just got done with BJ, got done with loading everything. I think this is as much as I'm going to carry in this particular car. That and I do have to go home to um, finish up a few more videos, put all of these away, get started my uh, cleaning my kitchen. And then I do have a live show. Well, I have a I have a premiere video going live today, so it'll be my first time going on since my Vietnam trip. See you guys there. Four is environmental. Environmental self-care allow you to find the right environment so you can truly thrive. Shopping for? Um, for a new school day. You heard them. Today we're going to back to school shopping, so join us. We went to Home Goods and then we went to Dollar Tree and we found everything that we need at a good price. And now I'm going to go home because I definitely forgot to take my medicine. And then I'm going to grocery shop with myself because this is as much patience as I have for all the noise, unfortunately. And I can see that my Cortisol level is raising and I don't want to give my children the worst of me. I want to present my best and my best, this is at my end limit. Annoying, but it's fine. I like staying in my soft era and my soft era is also knowing where your boundaries are drawn and so when I feel like my boundaries are crossed, I just walk away. Came home, finished with the kids, back to school, um, you know, packages and packing into their bag and I order some food at assembly because I don't feel like cooking today, I'm just so tired. Um, I'm gonna feed the girls, maybe take a nap because I'm crashing really hard. I'm still not used to the time difference yet. And then hopefully I can unpack and start moving things down to the basement. So I'm currently editing my April 2024 video. Excuse <laughs> the gardener outside cutting the grass. Okay, so I just placed a huge order at Fashion Nova. It's about 130 item. I got that really good sale one, so hopefully I can do 
a huge try on. I think that video is gonna be super long, but I haven't done a haul video in a long time. And so I thought, hey, let's, let's just do one. So that will be something that's in the work. I'm going to literally find a day and do that. Um, as far as what I bought in Vietnam, definitely, definitely going to sit down and do an unboxing for that as well. So there'll be a lot of unboxing what I bought video as far as fashion video. So yeah. Then there are the financials. Financial self-care allow you to cultivate a healthy relationship with money so you can reduce stress. Which I think is the hardest part for me because I feel like money has solved the majority of my problem. Anything I want, I just buy. Anything I need done, I just pay for. And so I don't know how I'm gonna cultivate this particular step when I really don't feel like I have a spending problem because I do work a lot and working gives me money and money allow me to just do things as I please. You can use your hand, it's not that hot. So number six is social. Social self-care allows you to feel loved, less alone, as well as improve communication skill. The girls are actually getting very used to the time now. Kaylee had her first night that she actually slept the whole night. She didn't wake up at 1 or 2 a.m. anymore. She actually slept till like 6, so that's good. Um, Kate actually slept last night, so that's fine too. As you can see, Kara's face is a little bruised from, that, from yesterday when she fell. I hope she learned that lesson, but yeah, now she'll be uh, swishing her mouth with uh, warm, salt, warm salt water. Uh, the girls asked for spaghetti, so I went grocery shopping for some spaghetti, and of course I know that my husband doesn't like the bolognese version, so I got him some Fenway Guy sausage, so hopefully he'll like his version as well. Um, I am also on my way to the Top Boston because I have a sponsor collab uh, collaboration, so a sponsorship collaboration with them, so I'm quite excited. Um, I don't know it's moving along i unpacked three luggage total so far so i'm quite proud of myself I, I myself am getting more used to the time difference as well so that's good i'm feeling less tired during the day and i can kind of push my 5 p.m crash a little longer okay went home quick start on my spaghetti meat and now it is 9.18. I gotta go to the Talks Boston so I don't get late. Hopefully I'm gonna pray, pray, pray that I get a uh, parking spot. So this way, especially if it's right in the front, that would be really good. Then this way I would be set. <sighs> um, but yeah, on to the next part of my day. I heard that the guys are putting down the The counter for the cabinet as well as they are painting so hopefully we can finish this uh, whole thing for September hey guys so today I have a sponsorship collaboration with the talks Boston I've been here so many times with my own money and I guess they noticed me and wanted to work together. So I can't, I feel honored. First off, I feel really honored. Thank you so much for choosing me. And thank you so much for collaborating. But yeah, I'm super excited. Today I am doing one of the massage. And I will go more in depth on what this company I have to offer. I got here and I found parking. Now we're gonna walk quite a while back. That's okay. Let's go.
so I just got done with my uh, the tox appointment. I really like the tech that I have today. Definitely will come back and uh, contact her again. Um, next part of the day is probably grocery shopping and then cooking. <laughs> The seventh pillar is recreational. Recreational self-care encourages you to tap into your inner child and make time for fun, which is why I am here to grab some bath bomb. I feel like this is my favorite part because I practice every day how to add a little fun to every day. And no matter how many chores, responsibility I have, I always add a little fun to it to make it worthy or exciting. And it could be just grab me a coffee. But today I am taking Kate in to get her uniform. <laughs> Took Kate into collegiate house for her uniform. It's like seven hundred dollar for children uniform. And the eighth is the spiritual. Spiritual self care help you find a deeper purpose and a more meaning in your life. And honestly, I find this in the small charities that I do every day and the big charity that I do monthly. Today I'm doing a walkthrough for 101 Clarkson Street, number 1R. If you are into learning more about the 8 pillar of self-care, don't forget to drop me a comment down below. I am currently doing a whole bunch of video with self-betterance, self-improvement, how to cure anxiety and depression, how to restructure life. There's just so many tutorials that I am doing for this channel, so don't forget to thumbs up, drop me a comment down below. Word of encouragement is always needed and always love and appreciated. Video requests and ideas are always welcome, so don't forget to comment or message me. I have been <laughs> slaying away editing this video to make sure that you guys have content months and months ahead because, you know, there are a lot of content that I just have to sit down and just finish editing. In the same time, I still am working, waking up at like 2, 3 in the morning and I feel like I'm okay with that lifestyle where, you know, you sleep around like 7.30, 8 o'clock, 9 latest and wake up at 1, 2, 3 or 4 in the morning and then I get this quiet house to myself where I can edit, I can do everything I want on the computer and then the kids wake up and then, yeah, I feel like it's a, it's a, it may be the new way, you know, like I kind of like the sleep schedule. I literally spent all of yesterday just cleaning my room. I know it doesn't look very clean to you now, but I actually did clean the room. I had to, you know, restore all of the uh, jewelry in the right box. Um, you know, just moving things around, changing the bed sheet. Um, I actually cleaned the girls' bedroom yesterday, so at least that's nice and clean, thank goodness. Um, I still have to fold a lot of their new clothes I purchased for them from Vietnam, so it's going to be another full day of cleaning and unpacking because I'm still not done unpacking, and obviously I'm the only one doing it for everyone in the house. So yeah, it's going to take some more time. My brother-in-law company is here to work on my house backsplash as well as countertop. Pretty much anything that you want to use, granite, rock, or any kind of pretty reconstruction you want to do to your house with the marbling. So I spent all morning um, cleaning my room. I didn't even get to any of the luggage. It just spent straight up cleaning the room. I did got to upload two more video. I'm just breezing by editing all of this because it's just you know, it's very everyday life, you know, it's very like from the heart, so it just goes out flow. I mean, the word just comes out naturally. And um, I cook the girls lunch. I connect with a few more social worker and hopefully I'm going to have a few takers. On the apartment that I have open right now, I'm hoping to finish renting everything, hopefully um, mid-September and have everyone move in by October 1st latest. I'm um, hoping to like fill up all the vacancies so that I have more time to do like stalling video and like, you know, the cleaning of the house and helping Lily and Eric move to the other side of the house. It's almost 11. My first appointment to do a showing for one of the property is at 11. And hopefully they'll be on time. So I just showed my client 101 Clarkson Street, number 1L. It didn't work for her, so we're going to the second location, 842 Washington Street, number 2. On route to the second location. Client is...
is following behind my car. Hopefully she'll like this one. I can do some paperwork. And she took it and I went home to see the process of the guys working on my backsplash and countertop. Definitely looking more like a home now. So the guys are back at it. We're hoping this to be a October first move in. Um, I'm hoping for October move in anyways. I really want my house back, but it's looking more and more beautiful. It's really inspiring me to start the cooking channel. The house is looking so much more like a home now. I love this darker stain that we chose. I hated that super bright um, look before. The color turned out really good. Bathroom is looking really good too. I'm definitely gonna have to paint that. I might make that black. Yeah, it's a good idea to make it black. And maybe a way to cover that outlet in the back. And I didn't feel like cooking, so my husband is taking out all of us for dinner. Tonight we are heading out to Seaport for Del Frisco. The girls just want to look out into the pier, so here we go. And my order is arriving today. Thank goodness Erica is home. She can take it in for me. Literally spent all day cleaning and um, editing. I'm just trying to be done with everything just so I can start my new content for fashion, haul, review, beauty. Things that I'm now really interested in because I'm taking much better care of myself. And I'm starting to feel more like myself again. Every time I go back to Vietnam, I feel like a new woman coming back. And today I made a special trip to see one of my client after hours. But first, I'm going to grab some snacks. Got five drinks today. This is the new one. That is that. Alright, so I originally have a 12 o'clock appointment with a client that has bailed on me more than once uh, because she overslept, because she's tired, because her work, it's always a reason and obviously she sounds like a nice lady and all but um, I don't know if I want to continue this, you know, work with her. The only reason why I picked her up in the first place is because she was from a great source or a great referral that, um, you know, I really liked as a client. So, so I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with her, but I got myself some drink instead of being angry and I am going to go home and enjoy it with my sister. And what a fool I've been because this is what happened. Some idiot on the motorbike decided to take an illegal left turn on my green light. I swerved, didn't hit anybody, but all my drink went on the floor. So I'm turning back around to Bamboo to place another order of everything I just spilled. Went home to check on these people process and see how far along they are. And it's time to clean my car. But first, let's check the work. And I think it looks pretty nice. After this is in, my husband will install all of the appliance. It's looking really, really good for a October 1st move-in for everybody. I spent two hours cleaning my car and I still can't get rid of that yogurt smell of milk. Oh, I'm gonna try some more tomorrow. And then I started cleaning more of my car. And of course, um, I started unpacking some more. After unpacking, I got into cleaning mode. I just want to really start clearing all those luggage and crap off my house and just trying to clean it all up for the fall. It's only 24 hour on a good day and 24 hour on a bad day. So yesterday was a bad day. Hopefully today will be better. This is the last day of the month. <sighs> oh my god. Happy.
happy Saturday. I just made the girl lunch and then I um, prep something for lunch and then I realized it's 8.43 so I gotta go. I'm driving all the way to Malden to get my lashes redone because that's where my lash tuck artist is and I am a loyal girl and I will follow my lash tuck, my nail tuck, my hair tuck anywhere. I definitely consider my beauty care and routine as my physical pillar that I have to continue to uphold because honestly when you physically look good it will mentally put you in a really really good mood so I made it <clears throat> I'm early I decided to listen to a few song and Takata is really slap it's really inspiring me to create a routine too isn't that weird for my <sighs> at my lash appointment it's just a two hour nap and I wake up with three lashes bro my tech went ham <laughs> I was hoping for a wispy look and I think she gave me a volume look I used to do volume a lot but wow you know I just feel like it aged me just because it's volume I mean this is too much shit I'm really going to hope that <laughs> a shower and you know it gets more wispy with $47.20. Not me. Shopping in my jammies. Totally me. Trời ơi, xong luôn con nhỏ bây giờ. Không dành như 25 tuổi giờ nhìn lúc y tuổi cũng 35 rồi Xong luôn Xong Xong luôn So I went home Unpack uh, my grocery Cook another meal for my husband And pre-made dinner for everybody Gotta still finish it when I get home um, Completely forgot, got two appointments today um, I am here Gonna do a showing at this location And then I have another client at another location I hope things go well And I hope they take the unit so I can start the paperwork <sighs> Not me spending all day in PJs Not me Okay That showing was a no-go. On to my next appointment. There was a little bit of pickup, but it's finally okay again. I'm gonna get there at three. Hopefully she'll take the unit so I can process at least one paperwork today. Yeah. <sighs> I'm only in my June 2024 edit. I didn't realize so much content there is in June. So instead of having two to three videos normal, this is gonna be five to six videos just because there's so many content. There's something that happened in June of 2024, well this year anyways. 